Could you imagine if Sleepy Joe ever became president, this country would be a mess. They would rip down everything, everything. Sleepy Joe, and he's, he wouldn't call the shots. He would have nothing to do with it. Lock him in the Oval Office. Let's just do what we want to do. That's why, and you know, today he's with Obama, President Obama. It only took him how long? A year and a half to endorse him? What did it take, a year and a half to endorse him? Even after he won, he didn't endorse him for a long time. And he's fighting. He's fighting for Sleepy Joe. You know, he really feels strongly about it, so strongly that he was fighting. He wanted everybody to win but Joe. Joe won. <laughs> but if you remember in my campaign, he fought harder than Crooked Hillary. President Obama fought me harder. He said, you cannot let him win. You cannot this. You he was all over the place. I said, this guy's spending all of his time campaigning against me. Uh, who won? That's right. And don't forget, don't forget, I'm only here because of him and Biden. I'm only here because of them. Because if they did a good job, we wouldn't have been here. There would have been no reason. So I'm only here because of President Obama and the job he did and Sleepy Joe Biden and the job that he didn't do other than he did a good job for his son. A good job for his son. No, but I'm only here because of them. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. People were very unhappy. The fake news doesn't report it. They were very unhappy. There was tremendous dissent, tremendous anger. 